So this love reading will be a connection uh, you believe you have with another person, whether you're together or not, uh, that is okay. Um, if you're single, this possibly could be a future energy of somebody you may meet, so keep that in mind also. So it is intended for love connections, but it's for everybody. So welcome uh, Aquarius. I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. This is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective. So Aquarius, let's see what's going on for you in love at this time. So this is a Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet. We'll see how that plays into your reading, and then I'll get you a opening and closing message with this deck. And then with this deck here, we'll look into the energies of your connection, whatever it may be. Uh, how you feel, they feel, mutual. Clarify all the energy with tarot. And there will be an extended um, down below as I drop all my cards. The link to the extended is down below. So if anybody is interested, if this really, really resonates with you, um, I'll take that one. It fell on the floor. If this really resonates with you, you can uh, feel free to check out the extended. Links are below for uh, Vimeo, where you can purchase the extended, or you can go to Patreon, where you can also get the same extendeds, but also there's more readings on Patreon, and there's membership levels, so feel free to check that out also if you'd like to. And there's tons of other stuff down in the description box, so feel free to check that out. Uh, decks I'm using, social media, your playlist are down there. So let's see what's going on for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male and female, general collective. Let's get you an opening message on your love connection and a closing message. An opening message on this connection. Let's get you a closing message on this connection for you Aquarius. I'm just going to put that right there for now and I'll show you that at the end. All right, let's see. So we have Pisces. So some of you could be dealing with the Pisces, but you don't have to be. That's totally fine. Um, it could be Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in their chart. And like I said, doesn't have to be, but, you know, Pisces is in the tarot is two cards. It's the moon and it's the hanged man. So the hanged man can be about taking a pause, a break, and reflecting, and then taking action, action again once you um, gain new perspectives, ideas, and contemplating. And then the moon can also talk about fear, emotions, cycles, um, that kind of energy. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. So let's see what your opening message is on this connection. So we have commit to happiness. We have 34, which is 7. 7 is a very uh, divinely guided spiritual number. I'm feeling like Pis uh, Pisces. Yeah, you could definitely be dealing with the Pisces. Um, but Aquarius, I feel like this person might have been uh, spiritually guided to you. Spirit might have guided this person to you. And if you can get into that energy of being happy, accepting, you know, this person or um, just giving it a chance, I think there could be a lot of happiness in this connection if you choose to. So if any time during this reading you feel like the energies need to be vice versa or you need to switch them around, please do that. Only take what resonates. Every little part may not resonate for you, so please do keep that in mind. Could be past, present, or future energies. So take only what resonates for you. Okay, so Aquarius. This is crazy Aquarius because Pisces comes right after Aquarius. So we got Aquarius 11 and Pisces 12. So there could be a progression even if you're not dealing with the Pisces. All right, I think this connection for you, especially if it's new, could um, progress into something really happy. Oh, okay, I'm going to take that one. All right, so, okay. Aquarius, I'm going to say this is you, your person, mutual. But again, like I said, anytime you feel like you need to switch energies around, please feel free to do that. So how you're feeling about this connection, Aquarius, we have Our Lady of Soul Birth, which is five, which is about challenges. Five is about challenges and change. Your person has Our Lady of Radiant Grace, which is 33. Three is a big number of um, society, uh, socializing, community, teamwork, collaboration, people coming together. 
and that's double for them. So they really want to work on this with you. They see you probably someone very, very graceful. They're very grateful for having you uh, in their life also. But let's see what the mutual connection is. We have Our Lady of Love. Well, there you go. 42 is 6, a very healing, balancing number. I feel like this could be a very healing and balancing love. And I feel like they want to work on it. They're graceful. They're grateful. They see you as someone that could be graceful. And with the soul birth here, I feel like this person, because, you know, soul birth kind of reminds me of the solar plexus chakra or like the sun energy which is about being uh, your authentic self, being who you truly are, being true to yourself, uh, your soul mission, your soul purpose, you know, what lights your soul, what lights your fire from within. So I feel like this person could, like, give you, like, a whole rebirth of your soul, like, light that fire within you again uh, to live your life's purpose, to live your soul mission, to be who you truly are, authentic, to who you truly are in a way, if that makes sense for you. So it could be something very soulful, a very deep soul connection. The birth of that, of something really new here, and a really do, deep soul connection between the two of you, if, you know, maybe you're afraid to commit to this person. Kind of energy also. So let's see what's going on here for you, Aquarius. So let's clarify these energies for you, Aquarius. Let's clarify these energies. Get one for you, one for them, and the mutual. So let's clarify this for Aquarius spirit, please. Thank you. The two of swords. Yeah, you're indecisive. That's your energy. Swords is air. I feel you're indecisive about this connection. You don't know what to do. But if you could decide to give this a chance, I see a lot of happiness. I see, you know, with the mutual here of love, there is, I feel, feelings between the two of you. Well, that's too many. So one for them. Thank you. The lovers. Well, there you go. Gemini energy here. If I say the uh, sign of who you may be dealing with, fine. If not, totally fine. So now we have Gemini, the lovers. So yeah, they see you as their soulmate. The one for them. There's only two people in that card. I feel like they really want to work on this with you. They want to collaborate with you. They want to compromise with you. They see you as their lover, as their one, as their soulmate. But you're indecisive. The Queen of Swords, and there you are again, coming out here. Queen of Swords. Could be Libra, but, uh, you know, Swords is air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Little Queen is Libra. Doesn't have to be. So if you both could see the truth in this connection, I feel like they do. They know, they know how they feel. They're graceful. They're grateful. They're thankful. They want to work on this. They see you as the one for them. But in the middle here, you know, the mutual energy is... Maybe more on your side, a lack of maybe not um, really communicating clear to them. You know, why are you blocked? Why are you afraid? Why are you scared? Why are you indecisive? Having, you know, open, honest, truthful com uh, communications about this whole connection. You know, working on it slowly, doing that teamwork collaboration with the double three, especially on their side. All right, so let's get some more energy here. More energy here. The five of swords yeah you you don't know what to do you feel like just throwing down your swords here and walking away like i just don't know if i can fight for love again i don't know if i can give into another connection again maybe you just lose in battle it could be the past that's holding you back things that happened in the past you know if you had somebody that was very uh combative or you didn't see eye to eye i feel like that energy is probably holding you back so let's see how they feel the six of coins, and there you go. Because they have three, three, which is six, and here six again. They want equal give and take. They want to work on this with you. They want, you know, balance between the two of you. Pentacles are very slow, you know. They don't want to rush. They want to take your time. They want to give you the offer because there's the um, pentacle in the hand there. Wanting to give it to the other. So they definitely want to give you something here, but you're kind of in a very defensive mode, maybe ready to um, block them or, you know, this person looks like they're ready to fight here. Mutual strength. So yeah, it's a very strong bond here. There is a lot of strong feelings between the two of you. So now we have Leo. You know, this is about taming the beast within. Again, you know, having, uh, restraining yourself, being patient. 
uh, being strong, courageous, and brave, but also a very strong, deep bond and connection between the two of you also. It's there, but there needs to be clear communication here, I feel. So, Ten of Wands, yeah, I feel like you, you're in this energy of it's too burdensome for you, but they want to take the leap of faith with you, and that's your energy, Aquarius. So this is the uh, advice from Spirit to let you know this person definitely wants to take the leap of faith with you. They want to start over, start fresh, start new, start from ground zero, take the leap of faith. But you're feeling very, I think, burdened, burdened by the whole connection. Um, maybe, you know, your things from the past, um, past relationships that weighing on your mind. It's time to lay those burdens down. This person wants to be a fool for you. Wow. So let's see the mutual here. It's a Two of Cups. I can't make this. <laughs> we have soulmate union here with the Two of Cups. You both feel the strong, strong love and connection. But there needs to be honesty here. Wow. So let's see. You could be a little cutting also. You know, the Queen of Swords can be a little cold. They've been through a lot. The Queen of Swords has been through a lot. Sometimes they're divorced. They're a widow. They've had a lot of challenges. You know, the Five of Swords is about, you know, mental challenges, physical challenges. Um, you know, one-upping or, you know, getting ahead at all costs or ego or pride. So I feel like, you know, you've been through it. So you may be a little, you know, on guard, standoffish, a little cold, cutting maybe sometimes. But they definitely want to communicate clearly with you. So let's see what the possible outcome could be in this connection for you, Aquarius. So we have faith here, Taurus here, with the Hierophant. This is about commitment, marriage, doing what's moral, just, and right. Higher levels of learning and education and spirituality and um, commitment. Being, you know, the leader, the teacher, the learner. Wow. All right, so let's see one more for Three of Swords. Somebody may end up with a broken heart here. Are you going to break this person's heart, Aquarius, when all they want to do is have a leap of faith with you and give you what you want and love you? Are you going to break their heart? They're sad over you. They could be crying over you, Aquarius. That's air energy. It's your energy. All right, so let's get one more. Let's get one more. Eight of Cups, so energy of walking away or walking to something more fulfilling. So, are you going to make this, this person wants to offer you commitment, but you may walk away from them and leave them with a broken heart? That's what I see for the outcome here. Or you may give them no choice but to walk away because they can't get through to you. They're having faith. They want you to have faith. Oh, Aquarius. All right, so let's get... Um, Actually, I'm going to get five from the bottom of the deck. So we have the Page of Cups. There's that loving communication, words of affection, an offer of some kind. And there's no fish in the cup in this deck. So this is pure, honest, and true. And then we have the Magician here. They want to manifest this new beginning with you. They have all the tools to do it. They're honest, they're sincere, they're fiery, they're passion, passionate, they have a lot of love. They are a very stable and grounded. They definitely want to manifest this with you. It's starting with an offer, affection, words, seven of cups. But they're a little confused here about you, what you want, what are we going to do here? How do I do it? How do I get through to my Aquarius? They could see you as really contemplating, you know, or maybe you have a lot going on in your life. They could be daydreaming about you also. But now we have the Knight of Cups could be a Scorpio, but doesn't have to be. But, you know, they want to move forward in love. They want to take this action towards you. They want to move this love forward. They want this happiness between the two of you that they know that uh, could be there. And we have the two of coins. So, you know, juggling around here that are a little confused. You know, what's Aquarius going to do? What's what's going on in uh, Aquarius' mind? What thoughts are they juggling around? Um, will they fit me into their life? Can we make this work? Can we make this balance out? You know, here's the two pentacles. So they're definitely wanting to give you one of their pentacles because we've seen that over here with the six of coins. 
and if you six and two is eight, and that's about working on it very slowly. You know, Pentacles is very slow. So I feel like, you no, know, they're willing to take their time, but I feel like you have too much, uh, some sort of uh, cold negative energy around you about relationships in general, probably. I don't think it's necessarily this person. I think it's what you've been through in the past, especially with that Queen of Swords there, and how you view love, how you think about love. So we're going to go into the extended, but first let's look at your closing message. We have compassion. We have two, two partnerships in unity. So, you know, they definitely want to show you compassion. They know you need compassion. They're hoping that you'll show them a little bit of compassion because they know, they know what you've been through here with the Queen of Swords. So they're willing to um, show you that compassion because they want that unity with you. If they can break down your uh, barrier here, especially with the Five of Swords and the Queen of Swords, and get through to you and show you how much they love you, how much they want to give to you. But there's an energy here of somebody maybe walking away and having uh, a broken heart here, but somebody definitely wants commitment. It's coming under you. But I think you know they that you I think you know that they want commitment, but you're scared so you may walk away, which may end up breaking this person's heart. Aquarius. Wow. Okay, Aquarius, so we're going to go into the extended, if this resonated for you. Again, this could be vice versa, so if you feel like it's your person, please feel free to switch it up also. So in the extended, I have a separate tarot deck here, and we'll look into a little more energy in this reading. And then I will pull uh, two more oracles, one from each deck, on the future of this connection. And I will also use this other tarot deck to look into um, if you take action... Well, in the energy you're in, I don't see you taking action. <laughs> we'll see what happens here. I'll pull some cards um, on, you know, if you decide to, to take action or what kind of action maybe you should take towards this person or if they decide to take action towards you, you know, what would happen. And then I do have the uh, messages of love oracles here, so I'll pull some of those on this connection. And then I have letter tiles here. So we'll pull some letter tiles and we'll get some, maybe some words, some initials, and hopefully that resonates um, for you. So links are down below for Patreon or Vimeo, whichever platform you choose. And again, Patreon has memberships, so there's different levels, So the, and I'm offering more readings on Patreon also. And um, I do suggest if you want to join Patreon, to join at the beginning of the month because they'll charge you for whenever you join, and then it's a reoccurring monthly subscription, and it's always at the beginning of the month. So if you join now, they'll charge you now for the month, and then they'll charge you again for the beginning of the month. So that's totally up to you. And again, Vimeo is also there if you just want to watch one extended. Um, that's an option, too. So if, I, if you uh, go over there, I'll see you over there. If not, and this is where we part. Uh, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.